We got something really fun planned today. We're gonna build the main menu screen. So this is where we're gonna start putting images into our game. Yeah, and it will be really straightforward and simple and whenever you add a sprite to the game, it's gonna pretty much be the same process. Mm. So Hope you created images along with us so you have images to put into your own main menu screen. Now let's get started. <laughs> All right, make sure your Unity project is up and ready to go and that you've got your background inserted like we showed you in the past videos. The first step we're gonna take today is to make sure that we're in our main menu scene. So go to the project panel and click on the scenes folder, then go to your main menu scene by double clicking your main menu scene. This is a scene that we've created in a past video. Now let's create our first button for our menu screen. You can go up into the top toolbar and click Game Object, go to UI, and then click Button. There's another way to go about this. You can also go to the Hierarchy panel and there's a Create tab right below the word Hierarchy. Click on that, then you can go to UI and click button. This inserts a generic button into your scene. When you have your button selected, in the inspector view there's a bunch of attributes that you can change and manipulate to affect the button. You can tinker with that now just to test what all the features do. Once you're done tinkering, Let's go to the hierarchy, make sure our button's still selected, and there's a child of that button, which is the text. And we're gonna wanna delete that child from the button. All right, we still have our button selected, and in the inspector view, there's an, in the image script, there's a part that's called source image. This is where we're gonna want to drag our image that we want for our button. So let's go to our sprite sheet, select the play button, go ahead and drag the play button to the source image placeholder. Once you have done this, you should see that button change to the drawing you had created for that button. The next step you will need to take is to reposition that button and resize it to the scale and position that you like. After you've set your position and scale on your button, go to the inspector and there's a place, there's a position and a scale for that button that you can change. Let's change these numbers to friendlier looking numbers. So remove some of the decimal places and then we can go on to make our second button. So select the play button again, right click on the play button and you can go down to duplicate or you can just copy and paste the button. This will create a whole nother button that's the exact same as the first one. So we're gonna want to drag the new image into the second play button that we just created. The second play button is labeled toys and this button takes you to a link, a URL that has a store of all the toys for the game. You won't have to rescale this one because it's a duplicate of the first image and it pulled from their size. And we want to keep these buttons the same. So we're just going to have to reposition it to a position where we want it on our game scene. Okay, we have created two buttons that don't go anywhere because we haven't coded them to do anything yet. We will show you how to make these buttons work and some of the different effects you can add to the buttons in an upcoming video. For now, we are going to keep arranging our menu screen. I'm going to walk you through inserting one more item, and then you will be able to insert the rest of the items on this video by yourself. 
For this next image, you're going to want to right click on the canvas in the hierarchy and select image. This is going to be our title. So let's find that title image that we created for our game in the sprite sheet folder and drag it to the source image spot that we've shown you before in the inspector view and it should change the image to that title. It's going to come in looking really weird and funky but you can just reposition it and resize it to exactly what you like. Alright we just showed you how to insert two buttons and an image. So you should be ready to insert the rest of the images by yourself, seeing as the steps are going to be the exact same. We're going to show you where we place the rest of our images on our game menu screen, so you guys can get an idea where you want to place the images that you've created. A couple things that you're going to want to make sure is that you're going to want the game view open when you're placing and scaling your images, so you can see how it's going to turn out when you're playing your game. Another thing that you're going to want to remember is the Q through T keys on your keyboard are shortcuts for moving and positioning and rotating your images, items, or game objects. Alright, so I had a lot of fun inserting all these images into the game menu screen. And I hope you guys had fun too. If you have any questions or we weren't super clear enough in a part of the video, write us a comment below and tell us how we could do better. Or ask us your question and we'll try and get back to you. Make sure that you subscribe and so that you can stay up to date with all our upcoming videos. And thanks for watching. Bye. See ya.